guys, it's Natasha. So, um, you might have seen my other video where I use a rubbing compound to make a lot of the scratches on my car um, a lot better. Um, but some of them were not clear coat scratches, and so what's left behind is this. Um, so I bought some spray paints, I bought a primer for some of the parts where it's down to the metal, and then this is supposedly, um, it says perfect match, um, like duplicates of original Hyundai colors, and um, mine is Y8S for the paint color, so I'll let you know if it is indeed a match. Um, yeah, so I don't really know what I'm doing, so we're gonna work through it and see if it looks good. Um, I also bought a mask, a dual cartridge disposable respirator because I'm working with spray paints. Um, also, I, I bought like touch-up brushes. that are very fine, very fine tipped, um, 1.5 millimeters, so I can try and work in these really small small areas. Um, yeah, so I have to try and first of all just spray these out into containers so I can use it like a regular paint and then let it thicken, so that might be an adventure in itself, but we'll see if any of this works at all. Um, so see you soon. Hello. I am your father. I guess the first thing we're going to do is see if this paint even matches because I'm not going to do it all if it doesn't even match. The reason I got this one, the reason I got this one Okay, I think I can talk without it. It's been a while since I sprayed. So the reason I got this one um, instead of just getting the real one from the dealership is because it was half, the one at the dealership's half an ounce for $30. That is so much money. Whereas this is eight ounces for $15. So if this is indeed a perfect or close to perfect match, then it's worth it um, because I mean being in California I'm probably gonna need to use this again I hate to say that but it's probably true so um, it's better to get eight ounces for half the price of what half of an ounce would cost so yeah we'll see how it goes so I'm gonna try it out right now still very obvious and bumpy as I'm doing this. I might need more of the filler. The primer was like a body filler as well, so I might need to do that first and then try and go over lightly with um, a liquid version of this. But it is matching up color-wise pretty well, so that's good. guys more regrets because I definitely was like oh it's so messy and I don't think it's working out let me just spray this whole panel but it's a different color when it's too much and um, I tried to wipe it off and then only some of it came off so this is what it looks like now it has this whole extra whatever that is so I'm gonna try and do the rubbing compound again and see if I can get it off. So I'm using the rubbing compound to get it off. Um, a good amount of it has come off, but not all of it. 
I want to at least get it off that door because it was so obvious and it had all those weird scrapes, so at least that. I mean, it wouldn't be horrible if it was left over there because at least it did cover cuts, but yeah, learning, making mistakes, trying again. Praise God it came off. Oh my gosh. Whew. Yeah, we'll see what I do about this side. I mean, it's not horrible, but I might want to dull it down. Um, took most of the rest of the day. So I got it all back to normal. Took pretty much the rest of the sunlight. So one quick rash decision leads to a whole day of regrets. Um, but I don't know, I think covering up some areas, like, they're at least a little less noticeable because I put that paint in it. So, I mean, it's not horrible, but yeah, I'll definitely have to think of a different way to do it all.